Hello my dear students, welcome to Ishwari Tanisha channel and this is your Ishwari ma'am. Students, in this video we are going to learn conformational isomers of butane. Students, most of the time this question is asked in NEET and JEE exams. So, go through this once before the examination. So, first let us write the structure of butane. So, it is CH3 C hydrogen hydrogen how many carbon atoms will be present in butane 4 so this is butane so for this we are going to write the conformational isomers now so let's draw the Newman projection formula for this so students we will take this carbon as carbon 1 2, 3, 4. So, second carbon, let me draw first. So, how to draw Newman projection formula? So, second carbon, you have to draw as point. So, this is the point. So, here, second carbon atom is present. To the second carbon atom, you can see one methyl group and two hydrogen atoms are attached. So, methyl group, I will keep in the top and two hydrogens I'll keep in the bottom and then third carbon third carbon you should represent it by a circle and to this third carbon again there is a methyl group and two hydrogen atoms so here I'll draw methyl group CH3 and then one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here so here meaning is we are seeing from the front so this carbon is present in the front side and this carbon is present behind it. So this structure we call it as fully eclipsed structure. So this is called as fully eclipsed structure. So this we will take it as structure 1. So now rotate the carbon 60 degree. So out of two carbon, one carbon you keep it as uh, standard, don't uh, tilt, uh, don't rotate it. Only the behind carbon we will rotate to 60 degree. So if you rotate to 60 degrees, see what structure you will get. First carbon right as it is, CH3. This is front carbon. So back side carbon we are rotating to 60 degree. So CH3 group will come here now. CH3, H and H. So, this one is called as gauche. Second structure is called as gauche. So, now again tilt this to 120 degree. So, if you tilt to 120 degree, see what you will get. So, front we will write as it is CH3, H and H. So, the behind one, so again to 120 degree, we are not rotating this to 120, we are rotating this one to 120 degree. So, this behind carbon, when you rotate to 120 degree, so you will be getting CH3 here. CH3, hydrogen and then here hydrogen. So, this is called as partially eclipsed structure. So, this is structure 3, partially eclipsed see here if they are uh, very close to each other if methyl groups are close to each other we call fully eclipsed and here methyl and hydrogen if they are close together we call it as partially eclipsed so now again this behind carbon we will rotate it to 180 degree so what structure you will get front keep as it is CH3 hydrogen and hydrogen. So behind carbon we are rotating to 180 degree. So if you are rotating to 180 degree now methyl group will be here hydrogen and hydrogen. So this is fourth stru structure and see if methyl groups are exact opposite to each other we call it as anti structure. Next again, we will rotate this to 
240 degree. So what structure you will get? Front portion you keep as it is CH3 hydrogen hydrogen. So behind carbon so when you rotate you will be getting here CH3 and here hydrogen and here hydrogen. So now this is the fifth structure. Again we will rotate this to 360 degree. So here again whether it is partially eclipsed see here hydrogen and methyl groups they are close to each other. So even this will be partially eclipsed. So 360 degree we will rotate, front portion you keep as it is methyl, hydrogen and hydrogen and behind carbon you will be getting, so when you rotate this it will be CH3 here, hydrogen and hydrogen. So again this is a gauche structure, so sixth one. Okay, gauche structure is nothing but a straggled structure. So now, these are the structures what you are getting from structure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So from this you need to identify which is the more sta stable conformers. Okay, to uh, check which is more stable, for that you should know the potential energy diagram. So this is the potential energy diagram. So in potential energy diagram, we will be taking potential energy on y axis and dHa, dihedral angle on the x axis. So you will be getting a graph like this <clears throat> and you can see structure 1 is at the top that is having more energy. So structure 1 is fully eclipsed. So this is fully eclipsed structure. And then structure 2 is gauche. So I'll write here. So structure 2 is gauche. And then what is structure 3? So structure 3 is partially eclipsed. Partially eclipsed. And structure 4 is anti-structure. And structure 5. Structure 5 again it will be partially eclipsed. Partially eclipsed. And structure 6 will be again gauche. So here this is the energy. See here if it is top it means that it is having more energy. And if it is at the bottom it is having lesser energy. So let us write the stability order for this structures. So stability order. So stability order which is more stable see the diagram here anti is at very low level so the energy is this much so anti will be highly stable more stable and then next will be gauche so this and this it will be same level both are same level so next will be gauche and then next will be this partially eclipsed both are having same energy level so partially eclipsed partially eclipsed and then last you have here fully eclipsed. Fully eclipsed. So more stable will be anti and least stable will be fully eclipsed structures. So in the examination the question will be which is more stable structure for butane. So in the options it will be given partially eclipsed, anti fully eclipsed. So in that you need to choose the most stable one. So most stable one will be the anti-structure. So students I hope the concept is clear to you. So if you have any queries regarding this concept you can write in the comment box. So have a great day. Keep smiling and I will meet you in the next video students. Bye bye. Take care.